let us do another example. Competing exponentials, okay, or competing Poisson process. Let us say you have two Poisson process, okay, one is of rate lambda and another is of rate mu, okay. This is of rate lambda and independent, okay. So, this guy is n 1 t, this guy is n 2 t. So, you, if you want to make it more colorful, you say that you are, you are watching uh, two radioactive samples emitting, you know, this is uh, this guy is one a radioactive element, this guy is another radioactive element, they are throwing uh, emissions at you, okay. Or you may be waiting for taxis or buses which are Poisson process, right, does not matter. Now, you are looking for, so you look at, you look at this uh, combined process, okay, we know which is a Poisson process of rate lambda plus mu, right. So, do you look at this combined guy, so I have n1 plus n2, right, and one goes here and all that, uh, okay. So, maybe I will draw a few points, okay, so I have all this, right. Now, I want to look at what is the, you start at some time t, okay. Let us say you start at some time t, what is the probability that the red arrival comes first. So, I am starting at some time which I can take by memory lessness to be the origin, okay. So, I am starting these two processes off or you could start at some any time t and start looking at these two processes. Of course, there is a point, it depends on, you could either have the red one coming first or the blue one coming first, correct. What is the probability that the red arrival comes first, okay. Red, uh, red arrival mean the mu guy, okay, the mu process wins, okay. So, that is why I have called it a competing exponentials or competing Poisson process in this case, because you have a, this red exponential, the red process is competing with the blue process right, which means this mu exponential and lambda exponential are competing and you are looking at the probability that the mu exponential wins, right, because starting at any time, the time for the red arrival is a mu exponential, the time for the blue arrival is a lambda exponential and they are independent because they are independent processes, correct. You want the probability that the red arrival wins. How do you calculate this? Solution. So, we can just take by memory lessness, right, we can just take that, uh, the we can just start time at 0, right, you are lo just looking at, so if you are, if you are looking at x1, the time of the first arrival of uh, the blue process, this is exponential with parameter lambda and y1 is exponential with parameter mu. right and x1 and y1 are independent. The red process wins if what in this notation so this so I hope you understand what I mean here right I am just starting at origin because it does not matter right they are all they are all uh, memoryless I am calling uh, this guy as x1 calling that as y1. 
So, I want the probability that the red process comes first, which means I am looking at the probability that. So, I am just looking at probability that y1 which is the mu process is less than or equal to x1, correct. Can I calculate this? How do I calculate this? See the uh, so did you say you will find the sorry you will find the CDF of well, okay. Well, yeah, you can do that, right? You can find the you know you can find the go ahead calculate the CDF of x1 minus y1 and then integrate that out. In this case it so happens that see they are independent exponentials you know the joint density right you can just integrate out the joint density right. So, this will just be what. So, if I just have that is my x1 this is my y1 I want to look at the probability that that guy right. I want the so in the joint density I want the probability that x1 is bigger than y1 right. So, with this will work out to be what this will work out to be uh, so these are independent exponentials. So, I can write f x of x f y of y d y d x y goes from 0 to x is it y goes from 0 to x and x goes from 0 to infinity. So, maybe I should call this guy x 1 just so that I am not integrating the same variable right I mean I do not want to have the same variables here and here ok f x 1 of x 1 f y 1 of y 1 ok. Can you work this out please? So, f x 1 I know it is lambda e to the minus lambda x 1 f y is f y 1 is mu e to the minus yeah, so this is just integral 0 to infinity integral 0 to x lambda e to the minus lambda x 1 mu e to the minus mu y 1 d y 1 d x 1. Uh, sorry, this is just dx, I think dx, right. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, so this I can keep as x, right. I am just trying to not use the same variable uh, inside and outside the integral, if, but you can work this out. What is this equal to? you should get mu over lambda plus mu ok. Check, just check if this is coming out to be correct ok. Next question I will leave this as a homework ok. So, so let us say find the distribution of the first arrival epoch given that the first arrival is red. Okay, this is you can calculate similarly ok. You, I want you to find the distribution of the first arrival epoch given that the first arrival was a red arrival 
see the distribution of the first red arrival is what exponential with parameter uh, mu right, but that is not what I want. I want the given that the first arrival that came was red, what is the distribution of the first arrival then? Okay, first arrival epoch. See the distribution of the first arrival epoch is exponential with parameter lambda plus mu, right? Because you have competing exponentials, right? Compa you, you, you know this, right? You have the minimum of two exponentials is an exponential with parameter lambda plus mu. So first arrival epoch is exponentially distributed with parameter lambda plus mu. The first red arrival epoch is distributed with parameter exponentially distributed with parameter mu. That is not what I am asking. I am asking the distribution of the arrival epoch given first arrival epoch given that the first arrival was red. Okay. You, you will work out, you can work out a similar integral. Okay. <coughs> what you can, what you will end up showing is that it is still exponential with parameter lambda plus mu. Okay. It does not matter whether the red one came first or blue one came first. Okay. You try working this out. It is somewhat surprising because if the blue process, let us say the blue process is much more intense than the red process, meaning that uh, the first radioactive sample emits a lot of samples and the red one does not emit very many samples. Um, you would think that if the first arrival was a red arrival, you waited a much long time, it is not the case, okay. that intuition is not correct. So, the probability of a red arrival coming first is small, but condition on the red arrival coming first the expected time still turns out to be or the distribution of the time still turns out to be uh, the unconditional distribution uh, time of it is not at all trivial you have to work it out. Okay, I mean it is not trivial meaning you have to work out some double integral. Okay. <coughs>